Okay, we are unboxing our Green Works Tiller. We got this at Tractor Supply. They gave us $100 off because it was the only one left. And now we're trying to figure out why. And they, <laughs> they had the hardest time trying to figure out how much it was. And when they finally figured out, they're like, oh, boss man said you can have $100 off. Like, okay, boss man, I like you. So it is battery operated. We normally use the Ego brand, but I don't think Ego carries a tiller. They do. Do they? I never saw it. It's 80 volts. This one's probably the same thing. Oh, yeah. So those are the blades? This is two. Okay. Blades and blades.
charging batteries so we can charge another battery. <laughs> we are a bunch of charging fools. Can we just uh, get together with ego? And all right, why can't they same? just make them all the same? Really? Yeah. So there's the battery charging. been a few days since we put this together so let's give it a little bit of a try here's the battery I'm not sure how it goes in this way maybe it's hard to do when you're trying to hold a phone in one hand here you go I'm not sure how it goes in I can't do it one-handed Ha! It goes upside down. Push the button. Bring it back. I'm excited! I hope it works! Seems a little puny by the sound of it. Seems to tell up grass okay. This is gonna be really slow, isn't it? I don't know. I mean, it's, a, it's not on a deep setting right now. Yeah, it's not very deep. I mean, it definitely works. We'll have to play with depth settings and stuff too to see how that goes. There are tree roots out here. It seems to till better going backwards. Why is that? Maybe the blades were supposed to go on the other way? No, they're set right. Oh, it's all caught up in a tree root. I mean, it's breaking those roots, and those are pretty thick roots. See, I have nothing to compare this to because I've never used a tiller. Definitely a lot of roots in there. Yeah, there is.
too many roots. There's roots stuck in it. <laughs> Is there? Yeah. You probably just go in and pull them out. Yeah, you'll have to go pull them out. So I think it'll do okay for what we need. This is why you don't do it with roots. We just need to, um, uh-oh. <laughs> we just need to try to get roots out as best as we can. So it doesn't like roots very well. Do any tillers do okay with roots? Not usually. I mean, it definitely tills up the ground. It does its job. I think it'll do what we need it to. Just we it does need its to. Job. It's not supposed to have that many roots to contend with. So I wanted to give you a little update on the Greenworks tiller that you just saw the unboxing of and that we put together. Um, we've had it for a while now and we honestly use it for our front gardens every year. Um, we haven't been using a fabric or anything to keep the weeds back, so we have to tiller up all the weeds every year. Um, we hope to remedy that this year, but this tiller is really awesome. Uh, it was worth the money for us. It does great with the in-ground gardens and I would imagine it's light enough that if you were doing raised beds and you needed to till in some compost with your old soil or whatever that it would work really easy to be able to lift that up and just put it in your raised bed and use it. So I would definitely recommend this tiller if you can't afford the big tillers like we couldn't. Um, a little battery operated Greenworks is just fine.